When one thinks of helicopters being utilized by many of the world's armed forces, the first time frame that comes to mind is the Vietnam Air Conflict. However, the first mass-produced helicopter in the American military was accepted in January of 1943 and reached over 100 units by November 1944. This helicopter was the VS TAC 316, or officially designated as the XR4, under the series for rotorcraft at the time. Now we're not going to go too far on the history of the R4, we're going to primarily be focusing on the first helicopter lifesaving rescue that was performed using it. Now be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and want more. Now on to some stats about the R4. It was developed by Igor Sikorsky as a two-seater helicopter, although it could carry a litter externally. It had a three-bladed, singular main rotor powered by a 185 horsepower Warner 7-cylinder air-cooled radial piston engine. It was 12 and a half feet tall with a 48 foot width including the rotor blade. It weighed 2,011 pounds empty, 2,540 pounds fully loaded. Its maximum speed was 75 miles per hour with a cruising speed of 65 miles per hour. It had a range of approximately 130 miles. Due to technology at the time, the pilot had to maintain a tight hold on the control stick as loosening their grip would let the helicopter go out of control. This downside is what made them incredibly difficult to control and what makes events in the air incredibly more impressive. First Rescue On the night of January 2, 1944, USS Turner, a Glees class destroyer tasked with convoy escort duty, was on its return journey back to New York after a successful transatlantic journey. Where the warship arrived near Ambrose Light in Lower New York Bay and anchored down. The following morning of January 3rd, it is said that a mousetrap anti submarine rocket was detonated in one of the lower ammo storages as crew members were unloading it. Around 0650, the warship took on a starboard listing of 16 degrees. An hour later, at 0750, another large explosion rocked the ship, causing it to capsize and start to sink. With a large number of the crew killed by the blast and fires, the survivors were forced into the water. They were to be rescued by nearby ships and brought to a hospital in Sandy Hook, New Jersey. This hospital, however, was not properly equipped for the large number of seriously injured patients. They vitally needed new supplies as soon as possible. This is where a United States Coast Guard HNS-1, flown by Lieutenant Commander Frank A. Erickson, came to perform the first life-saving act by a helicopter. Lieutenant Commander Erickson would pilot an HNS-1. This was a variant of the R-4 that was equipped with floats. He would be transporting two cases of blood plasma that were lashed to his floats. He left from New York and arrived at Sandy Hook successfully. As a result of his timely delivery of vital medical supplies and due to the abilities of utilizing a helicopter, compared to alternative methods of delivering the supplies, he was able to help save numerous lives of the crew from the Turner. This is the first of many life-saving rescues that would occur in the Second World War. After this incident, rescues would occur all over in areas that traditional vehicles at the time would not allow for a timely evacuation. In fact, the second rescue happened about 20 days later when another R4 made several leaps to reach a weather station located at an elevation of 4,700 feet. These acts and the heroism of the pilots, piloting their very rudimentary crafts, proved that helicopters were to provide a vital resource in the future. Now that's going to wrap up another video. If you have any feedback, please leave it down below, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I just want to say I apologize for the slowdown in uploads again, I was a bit sick as you could probably hear in this video, but more will be coming. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.